Week 3 of the PPL is here, and our team, the Wolverhampton Weavals, is taking on Q and his Chicago Dragapults. Q and I made a gentleman's agreement before the battle that we would both bring on not fully evolved dragons, a Fracture and Dracloak. Let's see if they actually do anything. As you can see on screen, Q's team is very threatening, most notably the Yoshifu Single Strike and the Pekarunt, but never sleep on the likes of Araquanid as well. The team I created to take on Q is as follows. I just had to bring Banded Palafin. Thought it would do pretty well since it's such a powerful mon, smashing things to bits with Banded Jet Punches and Wave Crashes. Then I brought Iron Moth with a nifty Power Herb Meteor Beam set, now I put the remainder of the EVs in special defense instead of physical defense and you're going to see why that's important later. Florgis is my check to Urshifu I hope, able to take hits and dish out nasty Moonblast damage as well. Of course I had to bring Fracture as part of the agreement and decided to run a simple Dragon Dance set. Then we have Corviknight, mainly special defensive to switch in and then U-turn on Petrunt. Is it Petrunt or is it Pekarunt? I can never remember how you pronounce it. Lastly, I brought Palosand with Covert Cloak, Terra Dark to deal with Petrunt, Pekarunt, whatever you want to call it. I was fearing it quite a bit while building this team, as you can probably tell. That's it. I don't want to go too into depth into the team. And be sure to go check out Q and all the other coaches in the PPL as well. Links in the description. So without further ado, let's jump into the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Q. So they're going to lead off with Araquanid as I led off with my Palosan. So I, I figured this was an all right lead. I didn't think they would lead Araquanid. I thought maybe they'd lead Jirachi or like the Scarfed or something. But I mean, I shouldn't really assume what my opponent's going to bring straight away. But you know what? It's not a bad matchup. If they hit us, it's going to give us a water compaction, which will boost our defense. So it's not the end of the world. Um, I am unfortunately Terra Dark for the uh, Petra run. I should have really brought Terra Water now that I think about it. But um it's fine he'll probably expect a terror and he might switch out into the superior here so i'm gonna go for a stealth rock anyway they probably go for a sticky web if anything liquidation that shouldn't one shot us though it does one shot us ah we lose already great so off to a great start palasan goes down um probably shouldn't have let that happen <laughs> probably shouldn't have let that happen so i'm gonna go into palafin now um, oh god, I'm off to a rocky start. I was really nervous about this week because I know Q's also a really good player as well. Just like Ricky and uh, Uzi before. Um, really nervous. I, I need to get my nerves under control like real quick. So let's go for a flip turn because I know we outspeed the Araquanid at least. Um, so we get a bit of chip, break potential focus sash. And um, they can probably tell from that damage that we are banded, um, which is fine. So now, what are we going to take a potential hit here? I'm, I'm looking at you, Fracture. I'm looking at you, Fracture. I really am looking at Fracture right now. If it's going to do anything this game, it's this. So let's go into our Fracture. It can definitely take a liquidation, that's for sure. Um, maybe not two. If they're banded, it's going to two shot us, but you never know. So we get the unnerved, so they can't eat their berry. They go for a liquidation once again, and that Araquanid is not going to two shot us, which is nice. Very nice for us. So... With that in mind, um, should we go for a Dragon Dance here? Uh, I think we should go for a Dragon Dance, but the, the problem is that Jirachi, we haven't actually got anything to hit that thing with because I opted for Poison Jab over... And, and Poison Jab... They, they didn't even bring the Pokemon that I needed Poison Jab for, so I don't know. Um, let's go Dragon Dance. So we go for a Dragon Dance, that's fine. We just want to get some big damage off against this Araquanid, pretty much. Uh, so we raise our attack and speed. We do outspeed, obviously, because Araquanid is very slow. They go for another Liquidation, which isn't going to take us out, um, which is great. And then we can just go for a Dragon Claw, uh, pretty much. So I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw now, uh, just to get the damage off on the Araquanid. So we go for a Dragon Claw at plus one. It should do a lot of damage. It does a nice bit of damage as they take us out with Liquidations. Araquanid claims two KOs, which is very unfortunate, but we can still pull this back. Uh, somehow, we just need something faster than the Araquanid. And look at that. Everything on our team is faster than the Araquanid. So that's great. So we could go into... Because uh, like, I'm looking at the matchup and I'm thinking, you know what? Palafin really does do wonders here. It could save our ass big time. Um, definitely could save us. Looking at the team. Uh, we could also go Corviknight for the Brave Bird or U-Turn. Um, we didn't get Rocks up because Palafin went down straight away. They've, they definitely banded a Araquanid. I know that for sure. They've got to be. Um, hmm. We'll just go Corv. Um, I don't see why not. Corv does actually really well against the team because they can't terror the Superior. It can't be poisoned by the Pecherun. Pecherun, however you pronounce it. Araquin is nearly dead. Jirachi, let's just go for a Brave Bird. Screw it. 
Brave Bird comes through. The Araquanid does go down, which is fantastic. So, um, Araquanid out of the way. One less Pokemon to worry about. Um, I am looking at this matchup, and I'm thinking, you know what? Iron Moth does really well as well. If we can get that agility up and the Meteor Beam with Power Herb, that'd be amazing. So, they go into Big Bro. Who's Big Bro? The Dracloak. So, Dracloak's probably, if they've brought it in like this, it's probably going to be Specs or something. So, let's go for a U-turn. They go for a Willow and they miss. That's an unfortunate miss for them, but a very fortunate miss for me. As my U-turn is at full power. Still does nothing, obviously. Uh, Dracloak is a pretty big threat here. Um, I'm hoping it's not got Thunder Wave as well. So, we could actually be in a really, really decent position here. A really decent position. I'm going to bring in the Florges just to take on the Dracloak because Moonblast hurts pretty much everything on our team. Um, we can Terror with this particular one and we're Terror Fire for the Jirachi, which they have brought. So I could Terror Terror Blast right now, predicting the Jirachi to come in. Um, I don't think they want to stay in and take a Moonblast. That's for sure. But if they... No, let's go for a Moonblast and if they go into Jirachi, we'll just Terror then. They actually go for a Thunder Wave. So this Moonblast is going to really sting this Dracloak. We both made a gentleman's agreement to bring Dracloak and Fracture. Um, and both have done pretty much nothing in this game, except from paralyzing my floor just and getting it fully paralyzed. Uh, so let's go for a Moonblast real quick again. So they withdraw the Dracloak this time. And they're probably going to go Jirachi, right? Pet <laughs> Petron comes in. I love that nickname. That's funny. We go for a Moonblast. We get some nice little bit of chip off on the Petron. Maybe lower its special attack. We do lower its special attack, which is really nice. This gives us the opportunity to go into Iron Moth just brilliantly. So we're going to withdraw. We'll go into Iron Moth. I do have some special defense investment on this Iron Moth so that it can take hits a bit better from this thing. Uh, and the idea is that we set up on this thing. So they go for a nasty plot, which is going to boost their special attack to plus one, which is terrifying to say the least. Um, however, I'm going to go for a agility here. I, I really think agility is going to benefit us. So they withdraw Petron. They've realized they can't really do much to Iron Moth even at plus one special attack. And they don't want to get any, any, any unnecessary damage. They're going to go into Big Bro the Dracloak once again. And this thing, we're going to set up all over it. So we go for an agility here. Like so. And I have a feeling that this won't KO. But I'm going to go for it anyway. This is the opportunity that I've been given. And this is the opportunity I'm going to take. So we go for a Meteor Beam right here. And then we're going to get a special attack boost. So we're at plus one special attack, plus two speed right now. If we can KO the Dracloak here, we'll actually be pretty goated. So there we go. Look at that animation. That was awesome. Um, doesn't get the KO, unfortunately, as they go for a Thunder Wave. <gasps> they missed the Thunder Wave. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This could be GG right here. Let's go for a Fiery Dance. Fiery Dance comes through. If we get a special attack boost from this Fiery Dance, we are actually golden. We are actually golden right now. Oh, we got the special type boost. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is just... Oh, this is just took a 180 for Q. Oh, dear. So, <laughs> we were off to a rocky start. A rocky start with our Palisander versus Araquanid. We had trouble with Araquanid, but we got out of the way. And now, Iron Moth is looking real good. Sensei comes in. That is going to be the Urshifu, right? Yeah, Urshifu. Is the... He's got the single strike one, um, which is... The only one you can have. I guess we just go for a sludge wave here. We're at plus two special attack. If they go for a sucker punch, that's going to definitely do a lot of damage, but it shouldn't KO us. Sludge wave is our best chance of KO in here. So they go for a sucker punch as we expected. Oh, it does KO. They're banded AF. They are banded AF. But now we're in an all right position. So what we can do is we can bring Palafin in. Um, or anything like that. We can go Corviknight. Corviknight walls Jirachi, walls superior to no extent. Uh, Petron as well doesn't really care. You know, doesn't want to take too many hits from it. So, um, what we could do is we could go Palafin here and Jet Punch. We outspeed naturally, so Jet Punch will out prioritize Sucker Punch. I think that's what we have to do. We have to go Palafin and Jet Punch. This gives them a free switch into superior. Well, I say a free switch. They still have to take a Palafin's Jet Punch. Um, but it gives them a switch into superior if they want to. Um, in which case, we should go for a Wave Crash for more damage or an Ice Punch. They might actually predict us to predict the Superior Switch and go for an, uh, going for an Ice Punch, and they might stay in and go for another Sucker Punch. Um, I am going to go for a Jet Punch here, though, just because I'm going to go. I'm going to play it safe. 
They withdraw. Okay, so are they going to go superior? They always go superior here, right? I should have ice punched. Jirachi, that's even better. So they predicted, they must have predicted the ice punch um, on the superior, but we went for jet punch. And that's going to nearly two shot the Jirachi, which is amazing. So that's a defensive Jirachi right there. Um, so we have to go into Corviknight here. We go Corviknight. We go U-turn, get some chip off on the Jirachi, and then we go for the jet punch on the uh, Palafin once again. Banded Wave Crash might KO Petrun if it's the nasty plot set, to be fair. So we withdraw All Might, the Palafin. And we go into Noctis, the Corviknight, once again. I know Jirachi doesn't get Fire Punch, I don't believe. Body Slam, that's fine. Body Slam's fine. It's obviously going to paralyze us. Oh, it doesn't paralyze us. That's, that's nice. That's neat. Um, right, let's go for a U-turn here. I don't see any reason not to go for a U-turn. So they go for another Body Slam, trying to get the power, which is fair enough. They, don't, they do get the power this turn, so we might get fully paralyzed. We couldn't move because we were fully paralyzed. That's fine. Because now I'm wondering what this strategy is going to do. Is it going to be a cosmic power set? I hope not. Let's go for a U-turn. They go for a U-turn of their own, which means we get a nice slow U-turn on whatever they decide to bring in. If they go into Superior, we go Florgis and Terra Fire straight away. Petrun comes in. That's a good one. So Petrun is in. And we go for a U-turn, get a little bit of chip. Nothing too amazing like, but it's still chip at the end of the day. And they are Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. Um, do I think Wave Crash will KO the Petra run from here? Is there only one way to find out? Pretty much, because I can't go into Florges. I mean, I could Terra Fire. They can't poison us. But I don't want them to nasty plot all, all up in my face. I'd rather just go into Palafin. And then if we do get poisoned and confused, we just switch into Corviknight again. So let's see how this plays out. So let's go for Palafin. Let's go straight for a Wave Crash. I don't see any reason not to. So we'll go for the Wave Crash. Wave Crash comes through. Let's see how much damage this does at Banded. Doesn't get the KO, unfortunately. And they get hurt by the Rocky Helmet as well. Are they going to go for a Malignant Chain? Malignant Chain comes through. Is it going to poison us? Is it going to KO us? Doesn't KO us. Does poison us, unfortunately. So we are badly poisoned by that. And then they get confused as well. We may have lost the game. But you know what? I think we did better than we did against Uzi. <laughs> Palafin is just is strong, but like that Petra run is just sleeper. Anyway, let's go into Corviknight. They probably nasty plot here or something. In fact, they might withdraw not wanting to risk the confusion. They might withdraw not wanting to risk confusion. So if they do withdraw, they probably go superior, right? So let's go into you. They do withdraw. Are they going to go superior like I predicted? Or are they going to go into Ushfu maybe? Skiperia comes in. Nice and normal. It's nice to see a non-shiny superior for a change. <laughs> um, right, okay. So let's see what we can do here. We can go for a roost. Um, we can go for all sorts, really. I, I think I will go for a roost here. I'm probably going to get fully paralyzed. They do withdraw superior, though. Are they going to go Urshifu? They go Jirachi. That's fine. Jirachi's fine. So Jirachi comes in. We couldn't move because we were fully paralyzed, which is really unfortunate. But at the same time, it's not the end of the world. Um, let's try and go for another roost here. I don't know what this strategy wants to do. Other than U-turn. It does U-turn again. If we can pull off a roost here, we'll be all right. Because we can take care of the Petron now. It's low enough health. Superior doesn't want to take on this Corviknight. And neither does Urshifu too much. Petron comes in. So that thing is in. We go for a roost. Now Petron gets recover, right? They've got Malignant Chain Nasty Plot. They probably don't have recover. If that's the case. Or they might. They might have Hex. But I feel like they have Toxic as well. Let's go for a Brave Bird and see how much damage it does. So they go for a Recover. Okay, so fine. Recover comes through. Um, we're in a bit of a pickle now. Because we couldn't move because we were fully paralyzed again. This is just top-notch gaming right here. Um, let's go for... Let's go for a U-turn. Let's just get out of here and go into Palafin again and get this thing weakened. They go for a nasty plot. That makes this thing terrifying. Very terrifying. That is for sure. So we couldn't move again because we got fully paralyzed. What is this game? Why are we getting fully paralyzed constantly? I know I played bad at the beginning, but like, I don't think I'm playing too bad now. I just don't understand why I'm getting fully paralyzed all the time. Let's go for a Brave Bird once again. Um, Shadow Ball comes through. Let's just go for a Brave Bird. Let's just attack this thing. 
Shadow Ball's not too too shot as we go for a Brave Bird, which is going to do nothing to this thing. And we get hit by Rocky Helmet as well. We do have the Citrus Berry, which is nice. But you know what? It's not going to help. It's not going to help because the recoil's there. They've got a Rocky Helmet. Um, they kind of have to go for a Recover here. So I'm just going to go for a U-turn. Yeah, they go for a Recover. Watch me get fully paralyzed again as I try to U-turn on the Recover. Yeah. What? I just want to U-turn out. I just want to U-turn out. Let me just U-turn out real quick. Nasty plot. That's fine. No, it's not fine. It's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. We go for a U-turn. We go for a U-turn. We get hit by the Rocky Helmet. That's fine. Why did I have to get so paralyzed all the time? I can't believe... I, you know, I should have... I should have put that specially defensive investment into my defense instead. Then I might have lived that sucker punch. And then I would have, like, swept their entire team. Maybe. Might have swept the entire team. Might have swept the entire team. Um, Let's go into Florgis at full health. And then we'll terrify her so that we can be neutral to the Malignant Chain. They might expect Terra Steel. No, I don't think we've got Terra Steel, have we? They might go for a Shadow Ball. That's what I'm trying to get at. They might go for Shadow Ball. So let's go for a Wish and we'll try and pass it on to Palafin. So we'll Terrify her real quick. There we go. Terrify comes through on the floor just because it is our Terra Captain as well as Palisand and as well as Fracture was. Um, but we didn't get to Terra those, unfortunately. So they go for a Shadow Ball. They didn't want to go for the Malignant Chain just in case we were Terra Steel. It's not a two shot, which is nice, but it does lower lowers our special defense. And we couldn't we couldn't move because we were fully paralyzed again. I am salty. I am so salty. Uh, let's go for a Terra Blast. Let's just go all out and attack this Petra. And I at least want to take this thing down if I can. Malignant Chain is going to take us out though because of the special defense drop. And then. <laughs> Why? I know I, I look. I know I played bad the first couple of turns, but does it really need to punish me like this? Does it really need to punish me? Like for real? Does it really need to punish me? Like our best bet now is just going. In, uh, I'm just going to go now. Uh, there's no, there's, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. And uh, if if we get a wave crash crit on the Petra run, it still won't KO. So let's just go for a Brave Bird here and just let it take us out of a Shadow Ball. There's the Shadow Ball. They're at plus, what, four? They got two nice plus, I think. Yeah, it takes us out cleanly. Noctis goes down. And I have got to fear the Wrath of Petra Runt because Palafin cannot KO this thing with a, with a Wave Crash for a start. There's no point even trying. I mean, there is. We're going we're to try at least. Let's go for the Wave Crash. And that was a crit, right? No, that wasn't a crit. That just did that much damage. But no, the recoil on Rocky Helmet is going to take us out. And unfortunately, that is going to be the game. So GGQ, we did get BS hacks a lot. But I feel like Q would have won that game anyway. Like, I should have prepped better. Like, the Iron Moth should have had defense, you know, stat uh, EVs instead of special defense. Because I was worried about the Petra run too much for the Iron, for the Iron Moth. But Iron Moth didn't really care about the Petra run. It was the Urshifu I should have been worried about.